All right, now let's find the perimeter also of this shape and all lengths are in centimeters. All right, here we have six. Oh no, this is eight sides. Now remember that I said to you that uh, a compound shape will have more than two simple shapes. And it means that a compound shape has nothing less than six sides okay it has nothing less than six sides so it, if it combines two shapes we'll be looking at rectangle four sides square four sides but here we are combining two together so you will usually have six sides or more than now look at this very one how many sides do we have great we have eight sides on this shape and we have a uh, we have two missing sides. We have the length and the width of all the other sides except line E and line F. Line E is a width and line F is a length. So we have to find also the missing width and the missing length. Okay, now let's look first for line E. Line E has corresponding Widths and where are the corresponding widths? The corresponding widths are on line C and line A. But there is a little exception to line A. Do you notice that line A extends far a little bit beyond line E? All right, now let's see what we are going to do in that case. We have first the corresponding line, line C. So we're going to add this to line A. But we need to take the excess of line A away. And where is the excess of line A? The excess of line A is on line G, 2.5. So what do we do? We subtract line uh, G from line A. So we have to take away 2.5. That's the excess. 8 minus 2.5. Okay? That's going to give us like 5.5. Then we now add 5.5 to our line C, which is 4.5. So that means, what are we doing here? Our line E will be equal to line C plus line A minus line G. Okay? All right, so it's 4.5 plus 8 minus 2.5. Remember, I already explained why we are doing that. We need to take the excess that we have on line A away. And the excess is on line G. So now let's do our arithmetic. Our answer is going to be 10 centimeters. So now we know that our line E is 10 centimeters. Let's find line F. Line F is a missing length. Where are the corresponding lengths or opposite lengths we have? Great job, line D. We have line D, which is a corresponding opposite lens. It fits in perfectly, but we don't have the complete lens yet. So part of line F we know now is 4.5. What about the rest? The rest will be on line B. Line B is another corresponding opposite width. Now, Line B also has an excess, and we need to take the excess away. The excess we have on line uh, B is on this point, because line, line uh, F actually stops on this point, where the arrow just popped in or bounced in. So let's take that excess away. Where does the excess width lie, or the excess length, sorry? Where is it? It's on H. H is the excess length. So we need to subtract 8.5 from 3.5. That means line B minus line H so that we can cut off that excess part. So this just simply means our line F is going to be line D, which is 4.5 plus line B, which is 8.5. Of course, minus the excess we have on line H, which is 
8.5 and what then is our answer when we do the arithmetic the answer is 9.5 centimeters so it means line f now we know is 9.5 now year six we now have all the sides so is it going to be easy to find the perimeter of course so let's find the perimeter at a plus b plus c plus d plus e plus f g and h the total of everything is 51 centimeters don't just conclude that that is the answer look at it carefully and see if the addition is correct okay that's the essence of learning so check and see that all the answers are correct now we go to the last one problem solving hmm. this is what we're expected to do we are expected to draw a six-sided shape based on the following we must have six sides of course it's a six-sided shape six sides we must have a perimeter of 34 centimeters the shorter side of our shape is one centimeter and the longest side of our shape is nine centimeters remember I just told you that a compound shape has at least six sides the one we just looked at had eight so now I need to draw this shape if I was told to draw a four-sided shape it would be easy for me because that's just going to be a square or a rectangle but this is a six-sided shape so the first thing that I would do is I will picture in my mind what type of six-sided shape I want to draw then I begin to draw so in my mind I have this picture look at this shape that pops in can you see it has got six sides okay so I have in my mind that this is the kind of shape that I will draw all right now let's follow the guidelines the shorter side is one centimeter first where is my sheet of paper to draw I need to have the grids here are my grids okay now each point from one point to another one point to the next point represents one centimeter okay one point to the other point represents one centimeter all right so let's start with the shortest side my shortest side is one centimeter so can you see my line that just bounced in just one centimeter all right it says my longest side should be nine centimeter I need to excuse me I need to connect nine uh, a nine centimeter line to this one from here so let me connect it all right I have a nine centimeter line if you check the uh, length that's from one line to the other or from one dot to the order you see that to the other one you see that I have nine centimeter okay all right now let me see what next i need to do from this now i've been able to achieve 10 centimeter perimeter and i also have two sides so i have four more four more sides to go and i also have 24 per, uh, centimeter perimeter to cover do you understand that i've had one centimeter short nine centimeter uh, long longest side so it means i still have 24 centimeter line to draw and I still have four sides to draw because I've only done two out of six sides so let me go ahead I'll make a two centimeter line an additional two centimeter line here to make my third side so now I have three sides and I've covered 12 centimeter so what do I do look from here I have three sides more to draw and I still need to cover 22 centimeters more because what I have here is uh, 12 centimeter so I need I still need to cover 22 centimeter so logically I look at it I have three sides and I have 22 centimeters to cover so what do I do let me divide 22 divide by 3 I'm going to have 7 
but I'll have one excess. That's seven remainder one. So in my mind, I'll just be like, okay, let me just give seven sides or seven centimeter to two sides first. Then I'll see what happens to my third side. So I give seven centimeter to this side. Now I have achieved four sides of the shape. Two more. Let me give also seven centimeter to this side. I have eight centimeter to go and one more side. Now count how many sides incidentally or how many centimeters I have left on this last part. I have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. On my open side, I have eight centimeter more to go. So what does that mean? Since I am looking for eight centimeter, I have an excess of eight centimeter. I just fit it in here straight, and that completes my six-sided shape with a perimeter of thirty-four centimeter. The meaning of having a perimeter of thirty-four centimeter means that it must fit in every line all the lines at the side must fit in to 34 centimeter we have been given one centimeter so we can't change that we have been given nine centimeter as well we cannot change that so we first of all fix those two and then we begin to adjust the remaining sides so this is how you are going to be able to achieve this kind of exercise or problem solving so students i think we've come to the end of this lesson what have we learned today so today we've learned to find the missing sides of a compound shape which was so super easy and also we learned to calculate the perimeter of a compound shape all right students we've come to the end of the lesson today make sure you do the workbook page 202 to 204 four and so we have another lesson tomorrow take care of yourselves and have a good day bye